Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for today's NBA slate on Thursday, February the 16th. Uh, we just got a three game slate tonight, so there's not going to be too much to like on a short slate like this. Um, I do want to mention this is our last slate before the All-Star break. So um, after today, there's going to be no NBA games until next Thursday. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have any videos on the channel until next Thursday when, when NBA resumes. We will have the All-Star festivities this weekend, so like the All-Star game, the slam dunk contest, the three-point contest. That'll all happen uh, this weekend, and I think Prize Picks might have props up available for that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm personally not going to be doing any props for that stuff. Um, if you guys play it, I wish you the best of luck, but I'm personally not going to be betting any of that stuff. I'm going to try and get out of the house a little bit, enjoy the All-Star break. I've been playing you know, DFS, and I've been doing content like for six, the last six, seven years. This has been my full-time job for the last like you know five, six, seven years, and I always look forward to the All-Star break. You know, when you do this every day, when you're staring at your computer all day, so sweating props every night, it's kind of nice to just kind of step away from the computer for a little bit, get out of the house a little bit. Not really going to be doing much betting, personally. I'm just going to try and take some time off. You guys do what you want. If you want to go bet Australian basketball or Valorant or CSGO while the All-Star break is happening, I wish you the best of luck, but... I'll be taking some time off. You know, I'm not going to make any content um, during the All-Star break, but we do have one more slate to tackle. We got a little three-gamer tonight. Hopefully, uh, we can you know make a little bit of money tonight. We've been doing pretty well with our prize picks plays lately. Hopefully, you guys have been tailing. Uh, last two days, we've cashed both of our two-pick entries, so we cashed on Wednesday. Uh, we cashed on Tuesday. Hopefully, you guys tailed the two picks I gave out Wednesday. Uh, we took the over on Zach Levine's fantasy score. He had a really big game without DeMar DeRozan. Um, really like that spot for him against Indiana. And then we took the over on Mark Williams' fantasy score. Wasn't looking that great after the first half. Williams got off to a pretty slow start, but again, I've said this before. I try not to tilt, you know, too early, and, and you know, even after halftime, I think Williams had like 10 fantasy points or something. But he had a really big second half, came through for us, and a really good matchup against the Spurs. Hopefully, you guys tail those two picks on Wednesday, and let's try and you know keep this nice little run going. We're on a nice little 4-0 run the last two days. Let's try and cash out, you know, make a little bit of money before the break. Um, but I got two picks I want to share with you guys for this video. Before we do talk through these two plays, as always. Um, if you guys do enjoy these prospect videos, and if they do help you out, please hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you guys are new to the channel, if you've never checked out prospects before, you can actually sign up for prospects. Use my promo code, promo code NOAA. Prospects will match your first deposit up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. So definitely check them out if you guys have not yet. Um, but let's talk through these two plays. So for today, I got a rebound prop I'm liking, and then I have a points prop I'm liking. Want to go to the rebound prop first. Talk about a guy that we took for rebounds a few days ago, and he came through for us. I'm going to go back to him, Rudy Gobert. 10.5 rebounds. Give me the over here for Rudy Gobert. So we saw Rudy Gobert last game uh, play you know, pretty much close to full minutes. He played 30 minutes last game against Dallas. We took his over rebounds that day. He had 14 rebounds. I feel like this line's a little bit too low once again. You know, Rudy Gobert, the last two games he's played, he's played 30 minutes in both those games. The game against Memphis, he only grabbed 10 rebounds, but last game against Dallas, he did grab 14 rebounds. We know that Rudy Gobert is one of the best rebounders in the league. In terms of rebound chances per game, he's second. He's tied for second most in the NBA um, with Anthony Davis, averaging 19.8 rebound chances per game, averaging 11.4 uh, rebounds per game. Always been a great rebounder just kind of throughout his career. And you know, so far this season, when he's played like close to full minutes, he's gone over this line in a large majority of his games. So Rudy Gobert, over his last 25 games that he has played at least 30 minutes, he's had at least 11 rebounds in 19 out of 25 games. And a lot of the games he went under were really tough matchups. Like he went under twice against Miami. He went under against Memphis back when they had Steven Adams. Um, he went under against Orlando. And then against Golden State, he had 10 rebounds. Against Portland, he had 9 but normally when Rudy Gobert plays 30 plus minutes, I feel pretty good about him grabbing 11 rebounds just with how good of a rebounder he is. He's played 30 minutes the last two games, or actually that game against Memphis, I think he played 29 minutes, but he did play 30 minutes last game against Dallas. This matchup against the Wizards, I think, you know, solid. I don't think it's like the bad spot by any means. When you look at where the, Riz, uh, the Wizards rank in terms of like rebounds allowed to centers, they've been kind of like middle of the pack. So like, I don't think it's like this fantastic spot. Obviously, it would, you know, we would love if Gobert was facing like the Hornets or something, but even against this Wizards team, I still think this is a spot where Gobert can grab 11 boards just you know, with how good of a rebounder he is. Now that he's starting to see consistent minutes, um, I feel like you know the rebound chances are always going to be there as you know he's kind of just like, a, he's a giant. I mean, the dude's like seven feet tall. He's always under the basket grabbing boards. And I think in this spot, especially if the, uh, I think if the, you know, 
Wizards continue to start Daniel Gafford at center. I think Gafford will, and will match up with, with Gobert. I don't think Gobert will be on Porzingis. If he's on Porzingis, that's a little bit of a concern just because Porzingis is very good at you know shooting threes and he can you know bring guys away from the basket. But if Gobert is guarding Gafford and it's going to be under the basket, yeah, the rebound chances should definitely be there. And I think the minutes will sh- should continue to be there as well as long as you know the game stays close. He avoids foul trouble, which you know hopefully will happen. But that's the first play I do like for today, guys. Rudy Gobert more than ten and a half rebounds. Did also take a look at the the sportsbook odds, and you know at first look. The over 10 and a half rebounds for Gobert was juiced already to minus 130. So it's always good to see a prop you like is already, you know, juice coming in on the over. So that'll be our first play for today. And then the other play I like, a points prop. I want to talk about Kawhi Leonard. His points prop sits at 23 and a half. And I do like the over here as well. So Kawhi Leonard, we saw him last game against Golden State. That was his game, you know, return from injury. Um, he sat out the previous game just kind of for injury management, just kind of for rest. But he played pretty decent minutes last game against Golden State. And I did give out a Kawhi Leonard prop last game. I took his over fantasy score, and I had a lot of people like messaging me, saying, you know, talking about this minutes limit that Kawhi Leonard was on. And I, I mentioned that in the write up when I, you know, gave the play that supposedly, you know, Ty Lue said heading into the All Star break, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are going to have their minutes, you know, monitored, managed, whatever you want to call it, limited. Well, last game, I mean, Paul, Paul George played 32 minutes, Kawhi Leonard played 34, and you know, I don't know, I don't know what kind of limit. Ty Lue's trying to put these guys on, but it really doesn't make much sense to me to, you know, give these guys a minutes limit heading into the All-Star break. Like, that's that's literally the whole point of the All-Star break is to give guys rest. It, you'll give them a week off. Why are you limiting guys heading into a week off break? It just doesn't make any sense to me. And in a game like this against Phoenix, I think this is a national TV game. I would expect Kawhi to play 34, 35 minutes if this is a competitive game. He played 34 minutes last game against Golden State, scored 33 points. Kawhi's been great lately in the minutes he's you know played. He's been super productive. And do want to mention that Norman Powell is going to be out for the Clippers today. And I think that's kind of actually like a little bit of a boost just because Norman Powell, I mean, he plays a lot with the second unit. He's going to come off the bench, but he's a high usage player. He's a guy that can take a lot of shots when he's on the floor. So getting Powell off the floor should just mean even more usage for Kawhi, even more usage for Paul George. So far this season without Norman Powell on the floor, Kawhi's got a very solid 27.2% usage rate per 36 He's averaging about you know 24 points per 36. Matchup against the Suns, I think's fine. You know the Suns traded away Mikael Bridges, one of their best defenders. So you're probably going to see Torrey Craig or Josh Okoji, you know, guard Kawhi Leonard here, and I think those are matchups that Kawhi can easily you know win in. So give me Kawhi to score 24 points today. Minutes should be there in a national TV game. This is a game that should be competitive. And I know again there was reports that Kawhi and PG were going to have their minutes limited heading into the All Star break, but. Kawhi played 34 minutes last game. I think we get 34, 35 minutes from him tonight. And when he's played 30 plus minutes, he's been pretty good at you know getting the, uh, getting over this line. I looked at over his last 25 games where he's played at least 30 minutes. He's over this line in 18 out of 25 games. And if you even want to numb it down to like 32, 33 minutes, like a lot of the games he went under, he played 31, 31, 30, 30. So like, let's just say Last 25 games with 32 plus minutes, I think Kawhi's had 24 points in like 23 out of 25 games. He's, he's gone over this line in almost every game where he's played like 34, 35 minutes. So if we get full minutes from Kawhi, which I think we will in a competitive game, I like his chances of scoring uh, 24 points tonight. So these will be the two picks that I run kind of as an early two pick entry. Uh, I will be taking a look at the board again, uh, taking a look at the board again on Thursday once we give, you know, once we get more props. Like we don't really have any other props available. There's no props up for the Bucks and Bulls game. There's no fantasy scores up yet, and you guys know I love to target the fantasy score props. Those are my favorite categories. But these are two picks I did like taking a first look at the board right now. Hopefully we can hit these two picks. We've been on a nice run lately. We've cashed last two days, cashed on Tuesday, cashed on Wednesday. Would love to cash again right before the break and you know have a little bit of extra money heading into the All Star break, but. I wish you guys the best of luck tonight. Appreciate you guys watching these videos as always. Hit that like button. If you guys do enjoy these Prospects videos, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you guys are new to Prospects and if you have never checked out Prospects before, you can sign up with my promo code, promo code NOAH. You will get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. Definitely check them out if you have not yet. Um, but like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, this is our last slate before the All-Star break. So there will be no NBA games until next Thursday. I will see you guys then. I don't think I'm gonna make any videos during the All Star break. Um, I was, you know, potentially gonna make like a like a prize picks tips and tricks video, and if I have some like extra time, I, I might try and do that. But for now, 
Don't ex you know don't expect any videos from me until next Thursday when NBA resumes. Hope you guys all enjoy the All-Star break though. Again, try not to bet too much, you know, Australian basketball and cricket and all this other crap while while the break's going on. Just, you know, maybe try and take away take some time away from prize picks. Put the phone down for a little bit and just kind of uh, you know, enjoy life. We we love the sports bet. We're all we're all in the end, we're all gambling addicts. I mean, I, every night I'm looking at my phone, checking box scores, sweating props, but it's always nice to you know not do that for a few days, at least in my opinion. Um, but yeah, enjoy the break, guys. We'll see you next Thursday. Hopefully we can all win some money tonight. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.